All right, so I don't normally do solo skin reviews here, but I felt like the Dark Heart skin needed a review because it's one of my favorites. Anything with pink in Fortnite, I don't know why, but I just truly, truly love. So I got gifted this skin by one of my Discord moderators, Tess. So shout out to Tess for sending me this. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. And if I remember correctly, I got gifted the pickaxes by Vicky. So thanks very much, Vic. I appreciate that as well. So I just wanted to talk about this awesome skin, Dark Heart. We're going to do a review. I'm going to show some gameplay and I'll give you my final thoughts on this awesome looking skin. So first and foremost, we need to build ourselves a combo. So obviously we got the skin itself and the acquired back blings, which are the heartless wings. The pickaxes are the bewitching blades. For a glider, I only have one dark series item. I don't know if there's more gliders in the dark series, but this is the only one I've ever seen. And it is a good glider, to be fair. It's really, really nice. The dark engine here technically could be in the dark series, but it's not. And same for the Comet Crasher. This has got that purple glow to it. That actually looks pretty sweet. I might try that. Another purple one is the Storm Eye. And then, of course, there's the Storm Sail. But none of these are actually in the Dark series except for the Dark Glyph. So I'm going to roll with that for now. Now, there are two camos that I have, at least, in the Dark series. The Dark Angular Shift as well as Kevin. I feel like since this actually came in the Dark Pack, I feel like this one should work better. Kevin's a bit lighter purple, but again, it is part of the Dark series as well. So I'm going to start with this one and we'll see how it looks in game. Now, real quick, before I show gameplay and talk about it, let's just compare it to its counterpart. And that, of course, is the Stoneheart. So Stoneheart is one of the most underrated skins in the game. I absolutely love the color scheme. Pink and gold and white just looks absolutely phenomenal in game. And because she's that stony light blue slash gray color, it just flows perfectly. I didn't think you could get a better skin than Stoneheart here. And what is this from? Season 10, part of the Royale Hearts set. But then they came out with Darkheart. Now, the only thing I don't like on this skin are the horns, but you wouldn't see that from your perspective. You would only see from the back. However, they do show up a little bit on the top there. So she loses her light gray blue color for this really, really dark smoky gray. And I enjoy that. Wait, what's the hair? Okay, so the hair is the same color on this one. I was just checking to see if the hair... Yeah, so the hair is the same color as the skin in both examples. So obviously, if you like light, Stoneheart is for you. If you like the darker color scheme, then go with Darkheart. But I do enjoy the pink just embodied in her skin. I love that. That effect is phenomenal. Compared to this one, she still has those etchings in her skin, or her stone skin, rather. But there's no glow or anything to it. You can barely see them, but they are there. And it looks like everything is the same in regard to those etchings. The same etchings are on both skins. Obviously, these are just highlighted pink. Now, let's see what else changes. The belt's still there. The skirt is the same. The little half tiara is up there as well. Actually, okay, the jewel on the forehead is much bigger on this one, as you can see. This one's just a small circle. This one's a giant oval. I don't know why they changed that up, but they sure did. And of course, the eyes glow on this one. I don't see any etchings around her eyes on this skin, whereas this one, there's some light pink around both eyes. Interesting. And I think the backs are exactly the same. So not bad. Let's check this out in game. I don't see enough people running the Stoneheart. Hopefully people run the Darkheart too, but since she just came out, we'll have to wait and see. Now for the back blings, I'd have to see these in game. So I have not seen this character in game yet, so I don't know if anything glows on these wings. So right now, I'm going to have to give it to the Wings of Love because these are much, much cooler. That gold just really seals the deal. Now on this skin, obviously it doesn't look good at all, but on the original Stoneheart, it looks perfect. So I guess we'll just have to see what these Heartless Wings do in game, if they do anything. All right, so that's our combo. Let's check her out in game, see if she's worthy of the Dark Series title. All right, so let's see how this combo looks in game here. I'll just come down a bit slow. So the wings do have some nice physics to them. You can see that when you 
glide, they go back, and when you go down, they move down as well. That's pretty sweet. It's almost like they're reactive, but, you know, that's how all wings function in Fortnite. Here's the Dark Glyph. So, let's see. It's almost a bit darker purple. So she's actually like a light pink purple. And then her scratches and glyphs on her arms are the kind of purple that this glider is. Interesting. We're gonna have to wait until darkness falls to get the full effect here because right now I can't tell if the wings are glowing at all. I'm anxious to see the pickaxes. I love the markings on her arm. Check that out. That is astounding. Oh wow. So look at this. We're kind of in the shade, which resembles the dark. Yeah, those markings are just incredible. And you can see the same markings are on her swords, or her pickaxes, rather. The pickaxes look absolutely great. I love, love, love the little hearts on the bottom. Look, everything about this skin is just beautiful. I'm a big fan of the Dark Series skins in this game. Let's see, if I had to nitpick something, it's that the tiara, or the headband, is totally a different color. There's no other dark purple like that on the entire skin. The skirt is like a light pink color. Obviously, the markings are a purplish pink. The wings have that fiery glow effect. And then you've got that weird random dark purple around her head. It just doesn't seem to flow. There's no dark purple on the blades either. Speaking of the pickaxes, let's see if there's a contrail. There is no contrail. That's a bit unfortunate. How about if we hit something? Yes, so there is a unique explosion. When you hit something, you can see the purple mark. That's pretty sweet. That's definitely unique to these pickaxes. Normally it's like a red, yellow, orange effect. All right, how does the wrap look? Uh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think it definitely matches the markings on her arms and body, so that's good. This is just an overall great skin. Let's spin her around. See what the front of her looks like. Ooh, the eyes and the gem. The gem even lights up on the front of her tiara or headband. That's incredible. Really, really nice skin. I'm enjoying everything about this. You can see when you jump, the wings flap open. Really, really nice effect there. I enjoy that. I know I mentioned this already, but I do love the wing mechanics. Look at this. Even when you swim, they open and close appropriately to the physics of the water. I love it. Pretty, pretty nice. Really sweet effect there. Oh yeah, look at this. Absolutely brilliant. You can see the camo looks good. The etchings on her skin look phenomenal as well. I guess my only gripe other than the headband is that the wings don't actually glow that much at all. I would think they'd be a little more bright, but they're really not. I mean, they've got that almost like fiery effect in them. You can see like on the bottom there, the same etching marks as the skin. So that's not bad. But if they were just a little more glowy, a little more bright, I think that would make this a 10 out of 10 skin. So there's no denying she looks way better at night. But at the same time, even in the shade in daylight, you can still see these awesome etching effects that glow that bright pink purple color. So overall, this is just a brilliant skin, definitely worth the price tag. I think there's not been a Dark Series skin that I've hated yet. They've all been truly unique and truly incredible. You should definitely make it a priority to collect all of these in your locker because everything about these Dark Series skins is just perfect. So overall, would I recommend you buy this skin? Absolutely. Definitely worth the cost, in my opinion. Totally a unique and awesome skin. One more addition to your Dark Collection series.